dinner tonight is going to be uh, delicious. Hopefully it's going to be pretty quick, which is the type of dinner I like and one that doesn't require a lot of prep work. First of all, we're going to have uh, Brussels sprouts. Now I know everyone doesn't like Brussels sprouts and I have not been a fan of Brussels sprouts because I don't like for them to be boiled. However, if you roast Brussels sprouts, the taste is wonderful. And I kind of look at them as little cabbages. Now what I've done, I've attempted to, I've, I've cleaned the cabbages and I have cut each of them in half and they're also in this bowl with some onion. I sprinkled a little seasoning over it and just a tad bit of olive oil and I've mixed those up pretty good so they can sit a few minutes because they're actually going to go in the second half of the, of the um, grilling time. Then I took some potatoes and I cut them into small portions. I purposely placed them on uh, paper towels so that most of the moisture from cleaning them will um, actually just soak into the paper towel. Then we're going to put them into this bowl and uh, as you can see I'm preparing for two but it's kind of hard to uh, prepare for two and not end up cooking for an army. So that's usually what happens. My refrigerator is full of soups and all kinds of goodies but uh, tonight I'm trying to do this and trying to be fairly reasonable with it but the potatoes I can use in something else later on. So the potatoes are in the bowl and in this little container I placed a little bit of olive oil, I have some uh, squidget of mustard in there and some black pepper. I think I may even add a few red pepper flakes just for a little extra something you know after a while uh, vegetables tend to be pretty bland and they are bland no matter what you know it's just they have their own natural flavor but let's face it after when you're doing it for 21 days uh, you might need just a little something to keep your family going especially if they're doing it with you for me I can handle it but for the big guy I need a little something extra for him so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to give this a good shake I'll be right back okay I've had time to shake up the sauce and I'm going to pour it over the potatoes before I poured the sauce over the potatoes, it dawned on me that I had forgotten to add some minced garlic. So I've added that to the sauce. It's in there. If you can kind of see it, it's on the sides. And I'm just going to pour a bit of this over the potatoes. And if any's left over, um, I will eventually, all of this will be in the same container with the the Brussels sprouts in the end so they'll have a chance to get some of that flavor as well. I'm going to use a wooden spoon and I'm going to do some mixing so that all the potatoes are well coated. It might take a few minutes. It takes longer actually to almost get all this uh, mixed up than it does to really cook. And the good news is, is that you can come in from work, have everything ready, put it in the oven, and within about 30 to 40 minutes, it gives you a time to breathe. And within 30 or 40 minutes, you are ready to sit down to a nice, hot, delicious meal. So let's get ready and we're gonna put them into the pan. All right, it's been 10 minutes and uh, I'm going to start moving them around and flipping them so they can start getting brown. And you can see it's not quite time to add the Brussels sprouts in, but we want these to get golden brown. So we're going to uh, let them cook. It may take about 40 to 45 minutes, so uh, we need to let the heat work and do what it's supposed to do. After 20 minutes, you'll see that they're just starting to get golden brown on the edges. I'm going to do a little flipping 
so that uh, both sides of the potato, ooh, don't they look pretty? On the other side, you'll see they're browning. And uh, let's flip, flip, flip. Try to turn over all of them if we can. And then I'm going to uh, put the Brussels sprouts in so they can do their thing as well. Them nice and crispy, not mushy, crispy. There we go, there we go. That's what we want. We want lots of color. Okay, let's get those turned over. I did cut the oven up to 425, just kind of for the, for the sake of time at this point. And uh, plus, I wanted them nice and crispy. So, and spread everything out. See the onions. You'll see everything in there. Now at 425, we're going to give it a, another 20 minutes. I'll take a peek at it after about 10 to see how they're doing. And uh, everything should be working working really good really good look at those nice toasty brown potatoes mm, they're going to be so good yum Well, within those 20 minutes that we're waiting, that last 20 to 25 minutes that we're waiting for the potatoes and the Brussels sprouts to come out, you'll see that I prepared our tomatoes, tomato salads. So They're sliced and a little bit of uh, that fresh dressing that I've made with olive oil and oranges and lemons and a little mustard, salt, a little teeny, 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 weeny bit of salt and some pepper. Tomatoes are a little rough to go without a little bit of salt, but we got sprinkled with green onions. I have also have the plates and everything ready to go so that once those uh, potatoes and Brussels sprouts come out of the oven, we are ready for dinner. In the meantime, the kitchen is clean. Um, I've cleaned up any prep work, you know, done all the prep work, cleaned it up. Everything's in the dishwasher, so the only thing I really have to uh, wash will be the one pan that's in the oven and of course there are plates that we're going to be eating from. Um, I hope that you have uh, watched other videos along the way and that they've been helpful to you. I can't imagine working and coming in and trying to think up recipes for your family as well because it's taken me a while to do a little bit of research along the way. I am thankful that at this point I'm retired and I'm able to do this for someone else. I did have someone to help me early in my career and uh, I'm able to help someone else now that I have more time. So we're still waiting for that 20 minutes. Enjoy. delicious. They're nice and crispy, nice and brown. The Brussels sprouts are done. I've got the, the wax pit, the foil underneath is non-stick, so everything's going to come off easy. Voila.